What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. It's the lowest amount of money a man should spend on a wedding ring for you guys. 500 grand, okay? Put your mother rock on this finger. A rock, you hear that? I don't care if you're broken. Take your mama's life savings, take your life savings, take your grandma's life savings, and get me a rock. She's a runner, there is she's no a price limit, whatever the f I pick out, you're buying. Pierre. Yes. <laughs> what's, the, what's the wedding ring? What's your price? For you? No, no, no. For me, yeah. For you? <laughs> um. <laughs> Like a thousand bucks. They deserve a rock, like a literal rock from a playground. Ooh, would you look at that? Forty-three dollars. She's Ooh, sucking that drink dry. Forty-three dollars. Are you coming over after this? No. All right. Uh, let's just split that bill, there. buddy. Are you paying cash or card? What do you mean? I'm not paying. The total is twenty-one, and you I'm not had paying, a drink. Two eighty-nine. This is gonna be twenty-three, and we straight. Sounds like the perfect first date to me. When a man wants to go 50-50 with you on a date, do this. <clears throat> big bag, big bag. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed right now. Um wait, you wanted to She just... looks like the fish from Shark Tales. Shots fired! Doesn't Shots she? Fired! Be friends? I'm so confused. This whole entire time I thought this was a date. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so sorry. Here's my card. This woman is playing chess right now. I guess we have to figure out our next move on the board. Wait. Oh, God is not giving me a sign. Uh-oh. <laughs> you better watch is out, boy. <laughs> take the sign before yeah, it's too that late. Sign. You got any kids? Damn, what we on it? You got kids? Right you said, do I got kids? I have a son. Ooh, next. <laughs> yeah, they gonna work. Got nutted and I'm cool. A kid is a lot of responsibility, especially when it's not theirs. You really show up for my birthday in St. Louis, and I felt that you wanted to give me the time and attention that I needed. I told you we should just become friends because it seemed like that you weren't showing me no interest. I you wanted me to enough. court you and woo you like you was my girlfriend. I didn't never did want to do that. You yes, just you saying did. that, okay? But you can no, have that's it. real talk. You can have that. Okay. That's real talk. Okay. Seems big like she doesn't bag, know how to show her bag. love. Why can't I get the hat? You're really gonna spend two hundred dollars on a hat when you won't even spend five dollars to get me a cook at the gas station? If you buy that stupid hat, we are no longer together. So, is it the hat or is it me? The hat. <laughs> is the hat? Um, I got the hat. <laughs> I'm single. He got the hat. Wise choice, man. Wise choice. That's good. Um, I find it incredibly hard to date to the point where I actually like can't get dates. Um, I've had guys literally walk out on me when I've met them because they're so intimidated by me. They would never hold my hand or. F intimidated? Isn't she a corn star? Oh, okay. Former corn star, by the way. Are we intimidated by women like this? Let me know in the comments. Are you intimidated by corn stars or are you disgusted? I'm gonna go ahead and say more than likely disgusted, but that's just me. Or anything, the first thing they do is they try and like have me. Sadly, I actually feel like I might not ever find like a boyfriend you like won't. that. Here's why happen. these women will never find a boyfriend or a man because women are, marketer, men are, uh, women are marketers, men are salesmen. You're marketing yourself as a 304. You're marketing yourself as a runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. So when we see that you belong to the streets, that's where we want to take you is straight to the sheets. Ooh, write it down. When we see you belong to the streets, we just want to take you straight to the sheets. Honey, if you're a corn star, that's what we see you as. We just want to have, we just want to buck you. We don't want to do anything other than that. We're not trying to court you. You know how shameful it would be? You know how embarrassing it would be if another guy saw us out with a girl who's a corn star and said, yeah, this is my girl, man. I love her, bro. I love her, bro. This is my girl. I want her to have my kids. Like, bro, absolutely not, bro. <laughs> You will be. She made the bed. Now she's got a lay in it. You know what I'm saying? She weren't thinking about a future husband when she was sleeping with a new fella every night, was she? Mm -hmm. No. I've said it once and I'll say it again. These birds will get to the age 30, 35, 40. The wall. And realize, whoa, I've been ran through. No fella wants me now. Unlucky on them, lah. They're for streets leave them there. Stay woke in these streets, lah. She definitely should have thought about that before going down her specific career path. Yeah, career Dating path. apps are not made for men. If you're a girl scrolling on Tinder, you're not going to see a guy under a certain height. But if you're a guy, you're going to see a ton of plus size girls. And a ton like, of fatties. I, I get height preferences. 60% of women say that they want a guy that's over six feet. But 78% of men also want a girl who isn't obese. Guy Why aren't like there weight three. preferences on dating apps? That's Ooh. so true. Hey, I, hey, hey, I applaud this. If we have to put our height, you got to put your weight. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think that Tinder should start um, asking for how tall you are, but then also asking how much you weigh? I think that's a great idea.
Women that use dating apps know that if they put their actual weight in there, they wouldn't get any dates. Weight can be changed <laughs> while height can Remember that. Uh, $2,700? You are out of your mind. I am jetting out of this restaurant. Good lord, her cans. Bigger than my dreams. Death seems like the only Good lord, $2,700? <laughs> How long was your last relationship? Wow, <laughs> four very long years. Four long years. Do you mind if I ask why that ended? Well, he was verbally abusive. He it. never took me out on dates. And he literally told me I was too much when I was just asking for the bare minimum. <sighs> and I knew I deserved better, so I broke up with him. No accountability. Notice how she said he, he, he. he. The screams red flag to me. She seems to be focused on everything that he did wrong in the relationship mm -hmm. and hasn't taken the time to reflect and take responsibility for the parts that she's played. She's likely holding resentment towards him and still has work to do before being in a relationship with a healthy mm -hmm. masculine man. Seems like she needs to reevaluate herself. People are mad at me because I left a hot girl at a bar in a video. <laughs> Essentially, this girl wrote in her bio that she'd buy drinks for whoever beats her in pool. So we matched and agreed to play pool at the bar Better Days in Miami. And when I arrived, I brought my own pool stick. I also noticed oh, she was about filming to cook me. Her. And then I gave her that work in pool. Made her buy me a drink, like she said. And then I left, because I didn't want to be filmed. <laughs> and people are saying I should be embarrassed because I went home alone when there what was a, a hot girl there. And that because she's a 10 and I'm a guy, that I didn't have the right to leave. I don't know, what do you guys think? She now if the roles were vice versa, this would not be happening at all. Junior doesn't look upset that Sarah said, I'm out. Yeah. He's so mad. <laughs> no, Sarah's mine. Here's the thing, man. I think this world is 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 like. No, no. Before so many options, why am I stuck? Why am I stuck on these two? Oh. I mean, they're beat at best. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Shots fired! Shots fired! Bro just admitted to having options. Why do girls literally get the ick? over everything so true though i've been seeing a ton of tiktoks about girls icks and i thought that they were so ridiculous until it happened to me <laughs> so i took this girl on a date right to see christmas lights like two weeks ago That's i fine. live in clearwater she lives in tampa so i took her to the saint pete pier to just walk around and see the christmas lights you know a normal date and they had those bicycles that you can rent and ride around and when I take girls on dates, I like to do fun things. Like, I like to do things other than dinner and a movie or, you know, whatever yeah. the normal is. I like to do fun, adventurous things. So I asked her, I was like, do you want to rent some bikes and go ride around, just see where we end up? And I, you not. She said, I cannot ride bikes with a guy. Like, it's going to give me the ick. Watching me ride a bike is going to give you the ick? I understand if I, like, have a booger, have bad breath, <laughs> pick my nose. Like, those are normal ifs. Yeah. But riding a bike? That's unreal. So basically, any man that likes being active is screwed. Got it. I love this. This is so good. <laughs> $12 instead of seventy three fifty in an argument for real. <laughs> it's so much cheaper to eat alone. In finance, with a trust fund, 6-5. Blue eyes, oh, dude, this video is great. So there's a song that's like, I want a guy in finance, trust fund, 6'5", blue eyes. Um, she breaks it down like ugh, the, the likeliness of a woman getting a man like this is very, very slim. Can she do it? Let's look at the numbers. No, no in way. In the United States, there are 100 million men over the age of 18. That is about 48.2% of the population over 18 that are men. I won't even remember that number. Finance. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, about 7.6 million people work in finance and insurance. So what did I do? Of course, I went through every single job title and I narrowed it down to those just in finance. And it was about 3.6 million people working in finance. Jeez. If we apply that same 48.2%. We come out to 1.7 million men working in finance. Trust fund. Only 1.2% of Americans oh. have a trust fund. So Let me know in the comments. Do you have a trust fund? I don't. That narrows us down to just 21,000 men in America. Dang. Ooh, get close. But here's the real problem, Ryan. 6'5". Do you know how tall that is? Very tall. That's tall. It's crazy tall. 
Not like. many people are 6'5". No, in fact, only 0.1% of men are 6'5 or above in the United States. I didn't know that. This is a real killer one, because now we're down to only 21 men in the United States. Didn't she? For our girl on couch, blue eyes. It's good for her because there's more men in the United States with blue eyes than other parts of the world. So we're at 27% have blue eyes. But that like, what, six guys? Six <laughs> men. That's insane. Six men in finance with a trust fund, six five, blue eyes. She broke down the math and everything. That's good luck crazy. with that woman looking for those few men. Hey, yo, what's your name? You're Red Bull with vodka. What? what? Red Bull with vodka. <laughs> Come on, you gonna buy me a drink? Come on, I hate these go. types of women, bro. Come on. A real man by me and Drake. If red flags were a real thing, then this woman would have them coming from every direction. Red Bull vodka? This girl told me you need to be making a million dollars a month minimum to a mess month? with me. I said, okay, how many zeros are in a million? She said four. <laughs> <laughs> No wonder she needs a man to take care of her, because she obviously can't take care of herself without intelligence. Little goody's hilarious. He's having the time of his life, bro. Can you imagine going out and just having to hold the cameras like, dude, I'm just trying to eat. When me and Cash used to live stream, we used to do this, like, have to show off the food. Um, shallow X. When he flies economy. Pardon? I need a rich man. She, she needs to go to Dubai and get one of them uncles over there to pee on her. Do you know how much business class is? I am not settling for anything less than six or seven figures. This is a joke. I'd prefer the private jet if possible. Are you being that serious? Well, you're I not, have a chihuahua. You're not private jet material though. Shots fired! Shots fired! And he's my life. He's my whole world. Even your chihuahua's going on holiday with me? Yeah, you're not gonna get me mad right now. I have high standards. There's no chance. Not necessarily you, but I'm bringing him with I go. I'll kick that little She's doing my head in with her chihuahua, she thinks she's Paris Hilton. He's only vexed because he's broke, let's be real. If he's flying economy, that's a ick. Imagine him in that Ryanair chair, all crumpled up, because there's no have... leg room. Ryanair, Ryanair don't, don't have, have they, they don't have, they don't have thing though. Yeah, they so we just get the jet. Private jet. I don't do Ryanair, okay? Well, you're annoying the me, thing right? is, I can get, I could get the jet, but it's like whether you can You can pay for a jet right now. But it's whether you can keep you up. Can, you can pay for I a jet right now. I want a man that can keep up. You can no, pay for a jet right now. She can't pay for no jet. <laughs> you know she ain't been on a private jet. She's going on Boy Yang 111. <laughs> you can pay for a private jet. <laughs> it's not as much as you think. <laughs> She's economy. Let's keep it a bug. <laughs> Why would I go and spend 10K? But maybe you just don't money. have enough money then. Yeah, I don't have enough money. He's definitely. Have you ever gone not on a private own, jet? Not, I've not spent my own money on it, no. Oh, but you've been on a private jet? I have, yeah. Look at her. She's a gold digger. I can see forever. And you know what? The only men that call a woman a gold digger are the ones that can't afford her anyway. Oh, I love it. It. Seems like she needs I to win a it. lottery, not a man. Got you, I got you. Mm -hmm. Damn! If me and you was together, right? And I was treating you right, protected for it, provided for it. Just treat her like a queen, right? If I want at any time, at any time, any time is crazy. I'm saying no. I'm saying at any time. Like if, whenever I ask for it, would you be willing to give it to me? Well, realistically, no. Man, you stupid. Any <laughs> like, what if I just I'm not in the mood for it? See, that's 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 the crazy. That's that's. What if I'm not in the mood to pay for your your dinner? Damn. That's not how it works. See, yeah. that's okay. What if I'm not in the mood to pay for your nails? What if I'm not in the mood to, you know what I'm saying, open the door for you? What if I'm not in the mood to take you on a date? What if I'm not in the mood to do all those things? Not I still gotta do those things though, right? It's Whether I'm not in the mood. It's not the same thing. It is though. It, it is, is though. Because that playing into your feminine role. Men want from their woman. And it's like, you can't expect me to go looking for somewhere else if you're not gonna give it to me. If a woman wants a man to take care of her in every way, then Facts. she also needs to give him what he wants. Mm -hmm. Why is it that the finest guys in the world, and also single, never leave the house? <laughs> is there a reason? You don't want to waste your money. Why do I go out and waste my money with those big ass chiclet teeth? Shots fired! Shots fired! Looking like one of the Sims. <laughs> but that's I just don't enjoy it. It's not an enjoyable experience for me, and I don't like any of you. <laughs> <laughs> With women like her around, who could blame the men for staying inside? The men on today's show don't know why they're here today. All they know is that someone from a past relationship wants to see them again. Oh, Let's God. meet who brought you here. Miss, would you like to do the honors? Uh oh. <laughs> may have this me, must have been in the 80s or the 90s, because, like, what is that hair? <laughs> 
look at me now and you can't ever have it again. Tony, do you have any regrets seeing that she looks so great today? She looks the same as when I left her. <laughs> <laughs> Savagery. What is that I hair? broke up with her because all I did was give 100% for nothing in return. I gave him so much more than he's ever given to me. Like you know. a new wardrobe. You yeah. bought him a lot of clothes. Yeah. What about the two engagement rings he bought you, Karen? Wasn't that enough? Oh, you know this woman. He, yes, he's my brother. It well, went back to the jewelry store. That's because I couldn't bring it back because it was in your name. Yeah, well, it went back, didn't it? Well, where's the money that I paid for it? In your pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tony, Sound what good. I would like Thank to know, what does she do so bad for you to break off an engagement? I was giving up all my time. I never saw my friends. You told me to give up my friends before. I never told you to give up yes, your friends. Yes, she most I certainly you... did. Karen, let me ask you something. Are you sure you're over, Tony? Oh, She's yeah. definitely not. Would what? you want another chance with Karen if you could? No. No, so I'm not the one that called the show. <laughs> she is. She's definitely not over. Huh. <laughs> you beat it best. It seems like someone still has feelings, and it's not Tony. She's a regular schmeg. She's, she's getting in there. What is that, a margarita flight? She going to town. He better be going to pound town after this. Good lord. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Big back, big back. Let's see what we got. Big back, big back. All dark and handsome. They can't be shorter than me. They can't be, like, right here. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. I'm taller than me. I'm 5'7", so taller than me. Um, a nice body. Huh? Um, well, I mean, I guess she is in shape because round is a shape. Shots fired! So, Shots no, I guess fired! it makes sense. <laughs> Mad for you. Mad hood. Toxic. Toxic. Yeah. Scammers. Yeah, yeah. Dreading. Yeah. Um, tattoos, a good father. Let's just point that out. A grill. And a grill. This is not my, my teeth. They permanent. They permanent, but... This is not my tea. These are some of the biggest <laughs> hypocrites I've ever seen. No pun intended. Anybody trying to date me, my bills or your bills? So no. And here we have another individual who has confused the rules of dating with the rules of marriage. I don't care whose car it is. You're trying to date me. You're trying to take a load off of me. Exactly when did dating come to mean taking the load off of someone financially? And here I thought dating was just about getting to know someone. When did that definition change? Well, these women can have the load, if you know what I mean. My car is your car, you cover the bills. I don't. No, that's not what that means. If a person is just dating, no. Their property is still their property, and their responsibilities are still only theirs. It's Based. not the other person's responsibility chick, to though. financially take care of that person. Simple. You're trying to date me, so my bills are your bills. Period. What, what is it, dude? What, what is, like, the level of entitlement that a lot of these modern women have? Is it all because of social media? Is it the talk shows? Like what has given them this big head? Because in other countries, it's really not like that. Like in Russia, it's not like that. Scandinavia, it's not like that. In the Netherlands, it's not like that. In Romania, it's not like that. Why is it modern women in the United States, overweight, beat to bits from the forehead down, can't dress, out of shape, broke, feel like they are entitled to everything that a man has gained through, you know, working a job, they think that they deserve another person's resources and another person's money. What is this? This is why a lot of men are going their own way. They've had enough of it. Like the level of entitlement's crazy. I bet you almost, if you went like to Sixth Street in Austin, Texas, and you just went up and down the street and interviewed, went, interviewed women, all of them would say that they're entitled to something. They probably have kids with another man that they're not married to. This is why I'm like, we need to bring back the nuclear family. And in this regard, shaming is okay. I, I think shaming is okay because shaming can change societal norms. But if we don't put a light on this and say, hey, this is bad, then women are gonna keep doing the same things. Us as men, let me know in the comments. Do you think men have changed a lot over the years? I don't think we have. I think we still demand the same level of woman that we've always demanded. I'm pretty sure all of us would be okay with the same standards that our grandfathers had for our grandmothers. We'd be okay with that. Fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, empathetic, elegant, and natural and nurturing. That's all we want. We don't want anything crazy. We don't like the BBLs. We don't like the fake boobs. We don't like the puffed up duck lips. We don't like that stuff. We don't like plastic surgery. We like natural women. Let me know in the comments. Do you like plastic surgery? Or do you like natural? Personally, I think most men are gonna say natural. Natural hair, natural face, natural eyelashes. We don't want the cumbrellas. We really don't want that. God, 
shout out to you guys, man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook in the description. The four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. It's right there in the description. But yeah, man, I really do appreciate you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.